Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a raft. That's a raft. I legitimately just woke up from a big nap here on my raft just in time to see that there is another raft on the horizon. All right, let's go ahead and hoist these sails. Try to remember where everything is. Try to remember how to use my arms. Oh, I have an empty water bottle. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about the fact that I have an empty water bottle now. And there's a potato protector on top of that raft. All right, all right. No time to dash about dizzily, unable to really make sense of things. I need to go ahead and wiggle over here, and we're gonna grab whatever treasures. Go, 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 go! <gasps> Glass! Yes! Thank you, Potato Protector of the Past! May you rest in peace, you wonderful, glorious raft, and the absolutely fantastic glass that it just gave me. Oh my gosh, I think I actually was taking care of glass before I fell asleep just now and had my long nap of <clears throat> a few days, so I have no idea what I was just doing, so bear with me, friends. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to Raft, where we are out on the open seas with two sacred smelters absolutely filled with vine goo and our tiny little tree. Heckin', we were naming these trees, weren't we? We have Tree Dawn and Tree Tegan, who are two of our amazing patrons who I am pretending are here with me, so I'm not staring into the abyss of the open sea completely on my own forever because I have trees! And actually, I was just thinking as I was waking up from my <clears throat> nap and thinking about all of the... Oh, is that another raft? No way! Can I actually get myself over to it if I go like this? Where's the pennant? The wind is not really blowing with me. So I don't think I can really pull myself towards that raft. At least not without a lot of futile effort. That feels increasingly futile as I am going to use up my paddle to try to get there. I mean, at least it, that's a good workout to like wake myself up <laughs> as we settle in for the day. But let's go ahead and just goodbye other raft. It's not happening. It's not happening. Uh, but all right. So welcome back, everyone. I need to take stock of where I am. Oh, apparently I'm I'm very thirsty. So we're going to grab something to drink. Fill with fresh water. <gasps> this is so cool. Look at my water bottle. I am so proud of it. Apparently I was just in the process of getting myself some water set up, which reminds me with the glass that I now have, I can actually work on going ahead and getting, where was it? With the glass that I have, I can go ahead and work on getting a purifier. Yes! Okay, so I need three more pieces of glass, and we can make an advanced purifier, which will purify several cups of water at once and does not require any of my precious, absolutely vitally important planks, which means I might finally start being able to build a house of my own, which would be fantastic. And look at this! Oh my gosh, that's so much refreshing water I'm able to drink all at once now. All right, whoops. Hey, those are my potatoes. Oh, oh, and that's Potato Protector Jr. You can't attack him, okay? Oh dear, all right. Well, it appears I have already gone ahead and I have plucked myself a bird and I legitimately just kind of woke up. All right, we're gonna need those drumsticks more than the feathers. Thank you very much. All right. Now it looks like I have a little bit of cooking to do too. Sorry to, oh. Okay, that was just the, yeah, that was just these catching something, not a shark wandering by. Ooh, ooh, come on collector. Make me, oh, go away Uncle Feet. <laughs> That's the shark this time is Uncle Feet. Now that we have gone through, rest in peace. Centimeter, inchworm, millimeter, miles. How I miss miles, he was our very first shark. Uh, but all right, let's go ahead and get these cooking so that I don't need to worry about that. I, I, I'm excited, guys. I have not actually uh, been here for a few days. <clears throat> I've been having a very big nap. And if you're not here for the role play, I'm not sure why you're here, but I hope you're having a great time. Uh, so I'm going to run around like a little confused thing for a bit as I remember what we were doing. But there's definitely some vine goo here. 
And I can only hope that that implies that I am working on getting even more empty bottles. Because with two empty bottles, I will actually either be able to make myself an oxygen... Ooh! An oxygen bottle to provide extra oxygen underwater. Or... Do I want to go ahead and... It, oh, that's a huge barrel. Did I... Oh, there it is! Oh, cool! Raw potatoes! <laughs> Alright, I, I really need to empty my pockets real fast, because... Oh, geez, that's another huge barrel. Oh, a raw potato! Okay, they're, like, clinging to the edges now. Alright, let's see what I can empty. Got some metal ore. I have so much metal ore now. That is just a dream come true. Um, I have a whole bunch of leaves, so I think I can put my backup leaves in the backup leaf spot. There we go. I have a lot of extra backup leaves that we'll just put over there for now. Um, I have a lot of tilapia. <laughs> I have a lot of a lot of everything right now, actually, which is definitely a great position to be in. All right, so let's make sure we have something smelting all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more seaweed. No, where's my glass? I want glass. There's one thing of glass. I could have sworn I had, I have a bunch of sand. Is the sand going to all turn into glass? All right, let's add the planks. Really get that going. All right. All right, and I think I have enough sand that between the sand and everything else, I should be able to get enough glass to make myself our very first, oh, look at those binoculars though. Heck, I can't wait to do that. Oh. Get on Potato Protector Jr. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a very important member of the family. You can't just peck his hat off, okay? <laughs> oh, you guys, this is amazing. I really am so tickled with these sacred smelters. They're going to make a huge difference. Uh, but we need to work on a few different things. I really want to make sure that we are able to find our way to new islands. I want to make sure that we are researching everything. And part of that research actually means putting up some receivers so that we can figure out where the radio signals are. We need antennas that we need to build with the radio receivers. We could even have sprinklers. Oh, that'd be so cool. Uh, netcasters, if we wanted to check, like catch something bigger, apparently. We could make a battery. And I think we need to make a circuit board so that we can get the receiver and the antenna up and going. I would love to make a backpack as well at some point in the future, but that requires leather. And I think to find leather, well, we're going to need a bigger island, that's for sure. Because so far we haven't found anywhere big enough to support some of the macro... Ooh, look at all that. To support some of the macro-sized life, like, say, you know, anything that would produce leather. Like a pig, a cow, a bear, maybe. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could make leather out of, like, a llama. Not that I'm endorsing that. But we haven't really found uh, anywhere that big just yet. So we definitely need to go searching for a large island. All right, let's see if I can. I'm going to add to our spot real quick. And I think the only way to really start adding or really start finding a large island is going to be using those receivers. So I want to set up a good spot. Oh, and we need to put this potato protector junior. Hmm, potato. No, 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 no. Come here. All right, nope. All right, change text. Potato, potato, protect, protector junior. And we'll see how many generations of potato protectors we can have. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. All right. Oh, no. do we have glass? Yes, we have got glass, friends. All right, where's the sand? Okay, I just need... Put... Wait, did I... What did I just put in there? That was not... You cannot put clay in there, I don't think. Yeah, place sand, place sand. Excellent. Look at how good our collectors are being. It gives me a lot of hope. Oh, I see you. Really? No, Uncle Feet. Stop that. Man, that makes life so much... No! What did I tell you? Member of the family! Get out of here. 
<laughs> I'm actually more worried now about my little scarecrow than I am about the fate of my raft, which tells you we have advanced in life. Uh, but all right, so I do need to build a few really nifty things. Let's see like a collection net. So I'm gonna make some more rope. I'm gonna make a collection net to stick right here so I don't fall through into the abyss. And we can actually take the other leaves that we have been collecting and put a collection net right there. Also, so I don't fall through into the abyss. Ooh, was that an extra piece of Oh! <gasps> I had that much glass all along? I am now officially a goose. Not a, well, maybe a seagull. I'll, I'll accept being a seagull. I am, I am shocked. I did not know that we had that much glass all along. All right, let's put down another collection net. What an exciting night. I've got, uh, <laughs> what did I tell you about attacking Potato Protector Jr.? <laughs> all right, there we go. I have no idea what to do with these feathers. Have I researched the feathers? Okay, let's check if I have researched the feathers, because I'm, I'm feeling somewhat dubious about all of this. All right, feathers. I have already researched the feathers. I have no idea what other use I could have for them. So Avasti into the sea. I just, I fed Uncle Feet feathers. <laughs> oh, that amuses me. Oh, there's a good barrel. Man, I don't think it's my imagination, but we're really picking up a lot more resources lately, too. All right, let's grab all of these drumsticks. Does food go bad? Because I don't, I don't really know if food goes bad. Maybe it's, maybe it's the fact we're surrounded by a salty ocean, so we just constantly have enough salt, perhaps. Uh, let's see, I need to fill this up with salt water. All right, we've got more glass. Yes, okay. So with all of that done, I do think Food and water. Purifier. Yes! Okay, we can make ourselves an advanced purifier that can actually fill up several cups of water at once. I am so excited about this. Why do I have no room on my raft? Uh, there's not really a lot of room on our raft for this. So we're going to go ahead and put it over here next to Potato Protector Jr.'s sign for now. Hopefully, eventually, I can... Well, I don't think I can actually move this eventually. I need to make a second story. You know what? I'm actually going to put it over next to the trees, the little forest that we're building over here, because that seems very apt. And I think we need to think about building up our forest, literally going up and, and having like, oh, I want to build a second story over here so I can look out and have my own little private floating jungle. I love that idea. All right. So now I think I need to go ahead and place a cup of salt water. How many cups of salt water? Oh, wow. I'm glad I decided to put this kind of closer to the edge than not. Oh, there's an island. All right, got to tilt. Let's rotate. Hard rotate. Maybe that wasn't hard enough of a rotate. Oh, I probably need to go ahead and make myself... Man, I feel so capable! I can achieve... Yay! I can achieve everything that I put my mind to at the moment, which is just fantastic. All right, let's see. Paddle. We're going to go ahead and make ourselves a paddle just so that we are ready. Let's tilt this. Do you have nothing better to do? All right. And I think we're going pretty quickly towards this island. It looks like a nice small one. I am so happy that we have an anchor. All right, and you know what? I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna work on building a second story now. And on top of that second story, I'm going to make myself a little room. We might even like have a display spot. Oh, I am really thirsty. Oh, this is awesome. That's not awesome. That's really rude of you, Uncle Fee. I'm a little distracted right now. <gasps> I'm actually, I have enough water for like the first time in my life. Are you kidding me? Okay, this place has a good reef. So we're gonna wanna come down here. All right, up we go. 
All right. Come on, please. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. Yes! I see! I see metal. I definitely see metal. Come on. Pull ourselves a little closer so that I'm a little bit less involved in the part where Uncle Feet bites me. Yay! All right! Look at all this! I'm sure that there are going to be treasures aplenty. I see seaweed. The world is a different place now, my friends. We're going to be able to change everything now. And I'm going to have, like, delicious fresh water. All of our collection spots actually are full of things that I can work. We can fill this up. Okay. Yeah. Defend Potato Protector Jr. <laughs> what a hard life for Potato Protector Jr. Um, and I'm going to think... Let's pour this out. But I really got to think about if I... Are you kidding me? Wait for it. Oh my gosh. Well, it's kind of a dumb bird drumstick kind of day, isn't it? <laughs> All right, yeet those feathers. And I mean, I guess I have, I have plenty of food. So yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna catch our breath now that I have dashed around, woken up from my nap, I remember what the heck we're doing. Uh, and I wanna build a second story that will overlook the wonders and the glory of our slow but surely expanding, absolutely awesome forest. Maybe that's why the birds are over here. They're like, oh man, that forest looks really good. Little floating tree. Oh, we can put floating trees on the other side too. But yeah, I want to build a second story, which will be fantastic. I want to go ahead and go diving so that we'll be able to gather up whatever resources this lovely little reef has to offer. Oh, ho, ho, is that some uh, clay and metal scrap I see down there? Oh, and there's some sand. Oh, I feel so capable to just take all of this on. And before we go, we will make that second story so that I will actually be able to put up the receivers as well. I think that's a pretty good plan. All right, we're gonna put some planks in here. I'm gonna add in some seaweed. And before we go, I do think that it's gonna be very important to actually go ahead and try to make ourselves a oxygen bottle. And actually, even more than the oxygen bottle, what I really wanna make are the binoculars. Yes. If we get those binoculars, we'll be able to actually spot some islands before we sneak up on them. So, are you kidding me? So we have a plan, friend. Friends? You are not my friend. Yeah. <gasps> Why? I like birds. I love birds. But I guess, I mean, you know, we're, we're living out, we're roughing it on the open ocean. We have to take what we can get. And apparently what I can get right now is a lot of dumb bird drumsticks. Uh, all right, let's yeet those two. But all right guys, I'm gonna clean up my pockets, kind of make a plan. We might scale this island really quickly. Uh, and we might actually try a new trick I recently learned about with how to deal with Uncle Feet. Oh my gosh, he took out a, no, he can't do that. He'll try to eat my precious, precious collection net if I let him do that. But we might try a new trick I learned about how to deal with Uncle Feet next time and uh, see if we're really able. Ooh, I've got more vine goo. I never thought I'd be so excited about vine goo. To be fair, I'm pretty excited about plant goo at many points in my life. Hmm. Uh, but we're going to build a second story. We're going to get that receiver going and basically continue our successful expedition next time. Ah, all right, time to pick these potatoes before those seagulls eat them. But all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our dumb bird drumsticks, as sad as this may be. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.